Tillsburg deputies have caught the man they say is responsible for stabbing his own mother. We're seeing new video as well today of 37-year-old John Ayler being arrested around 24 hours after he stabbed, according to deputies, 64-year-old Julie Aylor to death in her home in Brandon. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank spoke with the grieving family again today and is live at the sheriff's office with more. Evan. Yeah, and the family says that she tried to help her son for years, only to find him returning time and again. Now it is too late, and the family wants everyone to know that she tried to help him right to the end. Jalen Blair may never get over what she saw. Her own grandmother, Julie Ayler, fighting for her life. She just wanted me to help her. I could help her. You did everything you could. John Ayler fled this home on Silvercrest Lane after deputies say he stabbed his own mother to death. A tip from someone who had seen him on the news led deputies to this homeless encampment Tuesday morning where he was arrested. Family says that his mother had let him in four days earlier so he could bathe. She made him a couple sandwiches and told him, you still have to go, son. I love you, and I don't like to see you like this. But Monday morning, the sheriff says that he broke in to steal things he'd hoped to trade for drug money. He stabbed her as they argued. Family says she'd long considered him a threat and that she repeatedly tried to access public resources. He'd been Baker acted before and had been arrested three dozen times as his dependence on drugs grew. I never thought in a million years that my own brother would take my mom's life. My brother took my mom from me for the rest of my life. Sheriff Chad Cronister said Tuesday that there have been 14 family-related homicides this year compared to 16 all of last year. Julie had been caring for her son's daughter who lost her grandmother and father all at once. The only constant in her life being her grandmother is now gone. What happens to her? The ripples of this violence will go on forever. Even in the neighborhood, she was known for always being on walks with her grandchildren and for helping whoever needed it. I just miss her. She just helped a lot of people. She was always here for me and everybody that was around her. She. Never let nobody go without, never even let her son go without. And the sheriff is pleading with anybody who is facing the threat of domestic violence to get in touch with any of the public resources here in Tampa Bay, including uh, the spring of Tampa Bay. The suspect is due in court tomorrow afternoon for his first appearance, Mark. Yeah, all right, Evan Axelbake with us. I want to tell you, Evan, thanks much.